Hi everyone, this is Emily and I have a haul for you. So this week, um, I went to Indiana. I took a road trip with my sister and Indiana uh, is about eight and a half. Well, it took us about nine hours or nine and a half hours to get there. There was a little bit of traffic because of road work, but it wasn't too bad. We left here at Atlanta at 2 p.m. and we got there at 12. But we did stop by for dinner and gas and stuff like that. And so I did a little bit of shopping there. Because, um, of course, if there's like a Joanne or Michaels or Hobby Lobby, I have to go in there. Um, and then when I came back today, I did some shopping because um, there was more stuff I wanted to pick up. But, but because I was with uh, my friend that's from Indiana, I wanted to, you know, keep it light because I don't want other people to think how crazy I am. <laughs> I am. So, anyways, I will start because I have a lot to show you. And um, actually, I'll start with this one. These are pens that I ordered from Amazon. These are the Friction 12 color, I think, color pencil. They are from Pilot. They are from Pilot, and the, I forgot the name of it. It's like. Anyways, um. I think it's a color pencil line. So it's a 0.7. And I really like these. And so... I say so a lot, don't I? Um, let's see. It, it writes really nice. And they also erase. So I can just take this and just erase this. So the reason why I bought these because I wanted to try them out. And for my Philofax. Okay, all gone. So it comes out the uh, it comes with these beautiful c colors. I can't talk today. I think I'm way too excited because my desk is a mess because all the stuff that I bought brought and bought button brought and I'm like so anxious to like put everything away. But um, do you guys get very sad when you buy all this stuff and then when you organize and put it away, it's 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 as if you didn't buy anything. So, anyway, so I stopped by Joanne's today, actually here in Georgia, uh, just because I haven't been in like maybe two weeks, and I was like getting a little antsy because like, what if they get something new? Like, what if, you know, I miss something? So there was a forty percent coupon, and there was nothing I really wanted to buy. And so usually, if I don't, if I'm like walking around and around over and over the aisles, I usually go to the glue section because there's always something. I um, mean, because glue is the most things, one of the most materials, or items that I use. And so I didn't have this one, which is the micro glue dots and super strength for tiny beads and rhinestones. Um, I thought this would be good because, um, okay, I don't know if you can see the size. Oh, glare's not too bad. I wanted to do natural light, but I didn't know if I could wait till morning. But um, I got this because, you know when you're sending cards to somebody and the, you put on rhinestones or pearl beads that are not so sticky, that are kind of cheap or they're kind of bit, a little old and you're like, you don't want them to fall off. So I bought, got this. And usually I put glossy accents sometimes, but I've been getting lazy. So I thought this would be a good alternative. Anyways, I got these two stamp sets stamp sets from Heidi Swap. Um, I actually never, this is my first time seeing Heidi Swap stuff there. And a lot of them were actually gone. I don't know if they just had a low supply in the begin with or everybody just bought them all but, but the joints that where I live it usually, I mean the craft stuff doesn't go as fast as other Joanne's craft stores I feel like in Georgia so I don't know but I thought this was cute. It just has numbers you want know, here the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm loving this. Ampersign, some checklists. And this one is like just big sen sentiments. So this is good to stamp. Remember, happy you, here, now, favorite, smile, best, together, love this, thankful, fun. Then I got these stickers. So these, I thought these would be good for my final facts. Um, let me see. I mean, they 
come out just a little bit. Uh, but it's okay. I can either cut it off or if it's not that bad. I'll probably just keep them because I was going to use them for dividers. And all this stuff was 40% off. Um, of course, I don't know if you guys know this, but every time you go to Joann's and there's no si sale sign, always use a scanner. Because sometimes they don't put a sale sign to um, like collections or end caps that are already on sale. So, um, so this is a hello. And it's really nice. And then there is a today. You probably can't see them that really well. Let's see if, okay, this doesn't help. Uh, but there's a protective coating on here. And then this little tab that says today. Best ever heart this. And another silver. So I was right. Like this would be perfect for my Philovax. And so I picked up the pink one. And looking at my receipt, these are only $3 on sale. So that's actually pretty good for these. And the reason why, I mean, I'm not that big keen on pink. I mean, I love pink, but this is like really, really pink. But I really like that these tabs are on the side. So it says awesome, believe, and also amazing. And another pink. So yeah. I'm definitely going to use this in my Philo packs. They had this really pretty dot stencil. And they had a stripe one, diagonal stripe one too, but I already have I already have one. And I don't really use stencils all that much. I might do really want to use more, but I'm just not into them right now. So this is my Joanne's haul. Next I'll do my Target haul. And this is the stuff I got from Target here before I left. I got, I wonder if I can fit all this on one camera. Okay, maybe I'll do it off the end. Um, so I got this notepad for a dollar. I took the cover off, but it's just a, I mean, just a regular dollar section watercolor notebook. I thought that was pretty. Got some page flags. And I got these magnetic ones. I didn't know which one I wanted because they're different. And they're a dollar. This one's going down and this one's kind of block list style. So what I'm gonna do is probably put them in my um, Philo Facts. So yeah, and this one um, I'm sure you guys saw these. These these are from Paper Rifle. Oh my gosh, Rifle and Co. Here it is by Rifle Inc. And it comes with three. So I don't have one of them. The red one, because I gave it to my sister. But this is my file effects. It's messy. But I keep this. I keep the peach color in here because it just fits perfectly. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this yet. I know I will use it. Um, I don't know if I just want to keep it as a journal, or maybe like um, doing soap method with my Bible study. I don't know. So there's that. Okay, moving on. Uh, Hobby Lobby. So all their embellishments for spare parts are on sale. These are three dollars, and I only picked up these four. So I got the cross, the anchor, the bone, and silverware. It has like fork, spoon, knives. And please, I hope I don't get it. I also got this washi tape. This was also. 50% off. I thought they're just really cute. The arrows and the cameras. So cute. Okay. And these, of course, I used a coupon. Um, my sister got me one right before we left, and then I, we picked up two. So I got neon yellow, neon green, and neon purple. So um, I'm working on my bossing powder collection. And then I went to Michael's. So Michael's had 60% off recollections. So I picked up some flowers. And these flowers I was going to use on wedding cards. Wedding cards are 
cards that I make the most for friends and people who buy my card cards. And so I picked up these flowers. And I also used my 50% coupon on this. I wanted to try calligraphy. So I bought these nibs. And this it comes with like nibs and a I guess dip pen and a tin to put your nibs in. So and also I got these roller day stamps. Um, did you know that this is this is also cause considered with the 50% off stamps? I didn't know that. So these are $2.49 and it just, you know, has 11 things on here. So and also I got this like a while ago, but I never showed this in a haul, which is a handmade with love by stamp for your cards. And I use this a couple times and I really like this. I don't know if it's just um it stamps really well. I just love this one. It's probably by Craftsmart. It doesn't have anything. So if I find another one, I'll probably pick one up just to have a backup because I really like this one. Okay. So. Okay, I still have time. I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't want to run out of time. Okay, so I stopped by a Tuesday morning over there in Indiana and originally I wasn't gonna stop by but since I was in the area I thought hold on might as well right and so I put a lot um I feel like the Tuesday mornings in Georgia I feel like they ship everything, one huge shipment, and they just divide the stores in Indiana. I mean, in Georgia. But Indiana, they had a whole bunch of other stuff I've never seen on a Tuesday morning before. So I was super stoked. And, oh. Okay, so I'll show you the paper pads. I got mint julep. And I've never seen any of the papers. Because I only started paper crafting a year ago. And just because when I started, I didn't really get paper pads. I mean, I maybe have got one here and there, but I usually get them at like Marshalls or when they're like half off and stuff like that. So this was $2. The basic gray. Sooty Calico Sun Drifter, $3. I think all the basic gray is $2. So the Hey Boy, Hey Girl, I'm not going to flip through them. American Class Shoreline. And I got two of the card postal because I they had two and they're two dollars and why not? So I got this one from the hipster collections. I think these are I guess clips. Metal tabs. Metal tabs. I got these kind of alphabet things. Acetate alphas for a dollar or ninety-nine cents. I got a couple sticky notes from Carpost Postal for ninety-nine cents. I got one from the Hello line of Basic Gray for 99 cents. And, you know, me with my two Philofaxes. I can always use paper. So the Hey Boy Alphas. And I got the Basic Gray Soleil, Soleil, Soleil? Um, die cut shapes. I hope you can see these. I got this capture notebook. Um, ninety nine cents. Oh, this is something I'm so excited about. All these tabs for two dollars. Um, I'm into layering these days. You know, when I see scrapbooks and I see stuff, like I get super excited. So here, 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 here. Here, here. I think this is my favorite find of the whole bunch. Like, I don't care about anything else. Like, give me more tabs. Oh, I do have a little bit more stuff from Hobby Lobby that I didn't put in a haul video. Hmm, we'll see how much. I just put it away. We'll see how much space I have. Anyway, so I picked up a ruler from their capture line. I do have one binder, and I bought a couple inserts. From before, cause when they were going, like, they're trying to get rid of it at, um, 
my Hobby Lobby. But I found some more, which I'll show you. So I got some brads, epoxy brads, for a dollar forty-nine. And these are the photo ones. So these are the six. Are they three by three? And then these are the full sheet ones. So these are two dollars each. They're falling everywhere. Um, I haven't seen this before. Party Day. I know they had a lot of the Christmas ones there, but I've never seen Party Day. This is 99 cents. Sequins. Woo! Um, I saw this Hey You, which is like a canvas type stickers. 99 cents. And then they have these Basil cardstock paper. 80 pounds, 50 sheets for $4. So, these are the colors, and these are the other colors I got. Um, oopsies. And I also got this stamp set. It's like so freaking random. It's two ninety nine, and I, what do they call, what do my friend's husband call me? 90s, bas 90s basketball? 90s baby? I don't know. But, um, I grew up in Indiana where Reggie Miller, like he was my favorite. It was like Reggie Miller, Dale David. Dale Davis, um, the two Davis, Antonio Davis, Rick Smith, and I am missing one. Who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing a guard. And he's short. And I should know this because he also played in the movie. Did he go to Nick's afterwards? Mm. Mark Jackson. Oh my gosh. Um... Uh, so those are the five key players that I remember. And so we were obsessed because we didn't have internet back then. I was like in eighth grade. And so we would watch, we would uh, like pour over newspapers. Anyways, main, set, main thing is um, we love basketball. So I was going to use this on my Project Life. It just has some, um, I don't have any stamps like, like this about basketball. So I thought this would be f pretty fun. Like uh, journaling about that. Oh gosh, you can hear my dogs on this side. It sounded like they were farting or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, so how much time left do I have? Okay, hold on one second. I'm still here. Cause these were the closest thing and then that's it um so Hobby Lobby are getting I don't know if they're getting rid of some of these or they're just um putting some new stuff but um well this is from this, this one's not Hobby Lobby this is from Joann's but um it's like a tab thing oh this is from Tuesday morning so these are the snaps, and this is by the Project Life section. It's five nine nine for three dollars. So here's are these. These are very pretty too. So I know I'm gonna use these. I probably just put all of this like right beside me in my ras rascog. Just kidding. I don't know how to say it. Rascog. Um, that's one of those IKEA cards. I so excited because I finally assembled one. I bought one I think a month ago, the that blue color one, and I was so excited about it. Like, so excited about it. And I didn't use electric gel. I just used a regular screwdriver that came like a IKEA kit one. And one of the screws, like it basically has two poles and then you put the middle things in the middle and you screw at the end but these screws at the ends are really really tight and so if the screws so basically I 
screwed in this really small screws and didn't go all the way in because I couldn't get it in with the regular screwdriver. But when I put the bracket for the basket to go in, it wouldn't fit. And so I spent like maybe an hour on that and I gave up, I packed everything back up and then returned it to Ikea. Instead of getting another one, I was like, I'm just going to return this. I'm like, I'm done with this. And so I was really, I was really sad. Um, what is, what the heck? I was really sad. And so, oh, these are the numbered alphabets. And so after that, I um, kind of just gave up on it. And then I decided to get another one. Actually, I bought one for a friend for her birthday present. But I wasn't able to give it to her. So in my head, I'm like, oh, I'll just uh, put it together for her. And then when I see her next week, I'll give it to her. So I put it, I just put it together and it's, and it's in my room. And I think I'm just going to keep it. But I'm going to see her on Tuesday. So I might drop by Ikea right before then and buy her one and give it to her. So I think I'm going to do that. And maybe um, I'll bring my electric drill because definitely electric drill really helps assembling those cards. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not a great multitasker, am I? So, anyways, so yeah, so careful when you build your rascal cards. So afterwards, I'm like, should I YouTube it? Should I what? What should I do? But I know what you know. I knew what I did wrong. But the the thing was why I returned it was because the screws are so. I don't want to. I don't know if it was cheap or. Because I kept on like screwing it, unscrewing it, screwing it, unscrewing it. was like a Phillips, I don't know, is this the, the cross the Phillips head? Whatever, the, the screw that's the Phillips head, or the screw that's um, the cross, like I couldn't screw it anymore because I screwed it so much that the screw was round instead of being like a cross. So because of that, I had to return it. Granted, I could have gotten another screw, but I mean, I told the lady was like, um, Everything in the box is there except for one of the screws is messed up because I just could not get it to work. I really, really tried. But yeah, so I fixed it up and it's in my room and I really, really love it. So I think I can, I'm going to keep it. This this color is the gray one and I really like the gray. I thought I was going to get the blue but a lot of my stuff in my room, my craft room is neutral. Neutral meaning it's mostly like off white, you know, like Kia white with a black. Yeah, black. So, you know, I think I'm just gonna keep it. So, anyways, this is my haul. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And goodbye. Oh, and stay tuned for more.